Good morning and welcome to the Military Spouse Launch and Learn Series. My name is Haley Gray. I work for the Employment Readiness Program with Army Community Service here on Schofield Barracks. Our topic of discussion today is interview tips, so let's go ahead and jump right in. When it comes to an interview, you'll want to make sure that you are prepared. Here are some tips and tricks of how to do that. So the first thing you'll want to do is research the company. Understand its mission and its goals. That way you'll know why you are the best candidate for the position and how you can help their company grow. Do you know where you're going? Make sure that you know the location you are supposed to go to. Give yourself a few moments of grace time just in case you run into traffic or anything may happen um, that morning to, or that day. So just make sure to give yourself a grace period and arrive early. If you have children, make sure that you arrange childcare prior to the interview. You don't want to have to worry of um, the day of the interview of where your children may be staying during the time. Interview questions. Prepare answers for questions that the interviewer may ask you. One of the most common questions asked by interviews is, tell me about yourself. When they're asking this question, they're not asking for a background history of where you grew up and how you grew up. They want to know your professional background history. They want to know how you got to where you are today. So make sure that you follow suit. Prepare questions to ask the interviewer when it's your turn to go. You'll want to avoid asking questions that the answers were listed on the job announcement. So you'll want to make sure that you read through the whole job announcement. And then if any questions arise, feel free to ask the interviewer during this time. Speak the right body language. Make sure that you have good posture, that you're sitting up straight if you're sitting. You want to make sure that you have that good eye contact. Reach out and shake with a firm handshake. You'll want to make sure that you're showing interest and engagement as the interviewer is talking to you. Active listening is extremely important during interviews. Speak very clearly so that they're able to understand you and the answers to the questions that they have. And you'll want to avoid wearing heavy or strong perfume and cologne. If it's a phone interview, you'll want to make sure to set aside a space that is de designated for the interview. You'll, you'll want to avoid background noises, any distractions, anything that may cause you to lose focus on the interview itself. If you're using your phone or your computer, make sure that the items are charged and ready to go. As you wait, you'll want to make sure that everything that you have is professional. So while you're waiting on that phone call, um, whether it's a return phone call after the interview or a phone call before the interview, make sure that your voicemail is set up. If your voicemail is set up, what does your message say? You'll want to make sure that it's professional and that it doesn't sound as if you aren't ready for the position you are applying for. Many people wonder if they should send a thank you note, card, or email to the company that they interviewed with. You could always send a follow-up email um, just saying thank you for the opportunity. You can't wait to uh, hear back from them. It's really up to you, but there is nothing wrong with sending one after an interview. And that is all for our interview tips. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And also, just so you're aware, Employment Readiness Program, we offer um, interview mock sessions as well as interview tips here in person. So if you're interested, you can call ACS to schedule that appointment or just send us a message. Have a great day.